a new suspicious package intercepted by police, this time at a California mail facility on its way to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. It is one of two sent to the Democratic Congresswoman, seven total sent to high-level targets. And right now, word that investigators are also trying to track down another package addressed to former Vice President Biden. And it's not just politicians. A pipe bomb forcing the evacuation of CNN studios in New York City today. Tonight, the FBI says those packages all had a sulfur substance, and it's treating this as a case of domestic terrorism. And President Trump addressing the investigation at a rally just tonight. Any acts or threats of political violence are an attack on our democracy itself. Now, we have team coverage of all those investigations unfolding right now, including some in our area. We're going to start it off with Tom Rousey and the very latest on what officials know at this hour. Tom? And Jonathan, we keep hearing about more new possible bombs out there. The latest states where investigations are going on tonight, California and also Delaware. The FBI knows there could be more bombs out there. We will turn over every rock. Tonight, there's word of yet another bomb. This one in Los Angeles, one of two that apparently targeted Congresswoman Maxine Waters. And CNN says authorities are trying to track down a suspicious package sent to former Vice President Joe Biden. That adds to investigations here in D.C., in New York, and Florida. Others targeted this week? The Clintons, the Obamas, former Attorney General Eric Holder, liberal donor George Soros, and CNN. Tiles, I mean, that's a... Where a bomb was made out to former CIA Director John Brennan, who often speaks out against President Trump. If I and others are being targeted because we're speaking out, since I think that, again, is a very unfortunate uh, turn of events. You obviously have a half a dozen maybe devices to look at that can forensically can give you a lot of information about who the bomber might be. Former FBI agent and ABC analyst Brad Garrett says finding the bomber may be the only way to stop any other potential bombs. Until you ID him, you may not know where other packages have been mailed. And do those people have the same sort of safety net that the former presidents do where the Secret Service intercept all their mail? Now, Garrett told me from what he's seen of the bomber or bombers, we don't know so far, he says this doesn't appear to be that sophisticated. That said, that doesn't necessarily mean whoever did this is going to be easy to catch. Reporting live tonight, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Okay, Tom, thank you very much. Now, investigators here in our area on high alert tonight after two devices were intercepted on their way to D.C. The first addressed to President Obama's home in the Calorama neighborhood. The other at a mail facility in Maryland addressed to Congresswoman Maxine Waters' office on the Hill. Heather Graff continues our team coverage now with a look at how local police are prepared tonight. Heather. Well, Allison, I'm standing in one of the most secure neighborhoods in the entire district. It's home to not just the Obamas, but also several embassies, plus Ivanka Trump and her family. Yet that did not stop someone from trying to send an explosive device to this street. The D.C. Police Department now working closely with federal partners in response to a string of suspicious packages sent to high-profile individuals, including one that was intercepted en route to the Northwest Washington home of former President Barack Obama. This type of domestic terrorism does exist in this day and age. Dr. Christopher Rodriguez is director of the district's Department of Homeland Security. And on Wednesday night, he urged vigilance among fears that more of these envelopes containing homemade pipe bombs could still be on the way. And certainly that's the reason why we want people to be aware. Authorities also making it clear that none of the packages so far have reached their intended targets. For instance, one sent to Representative Maxine Waters was discovered at this congressional mail sorting facility in Capitol Heights, Maryland. But until an arrest is made, the concern remains here in the DMV and across the country. See something, say something is not a cliche. And I know from my years at, at CIA, um, right after 9-11. To see something say something um, has actually saved lives. And back out here live, you can see President Obama's home behind these barriers in the Calorama neighborhood is always heavily guarded. But again, that suspicious package never actually made it here. Instead, it was intercepted by the Secret Service at a mail screening facility about 11 miles away. For live tonight in Northwest Washington, Heather Graff. ABC 7 News. Okay, Heather, thank you. And as Tom mentioned earlier, right now in